This week's episode, Pizzana in West Hollywood. You don't have to be mean to be entertaining. <laughs> yes, I no, do. you don't. It's funny. Yeah, you it doesn't have to be mean to be entertaining. <laughs> we're not taping. Oh yeah, we are. No, we're not. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Pizzana, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Great. What did you think of the location? In West Hollywood, I, it's perfect. No, about the place itself. Oh, you're talking about the venue. Um, I, I liked it. I mean, I know that you're gonna say you don't like it. It was very minimalist. There's no decorations on the wall. It's this little blue wall, and everyone's facing the blue wall. No, everybody's um, facing a wall. There's yeah. a wall, in, there was a wall in front of me, and you were sitting on the opposite side of me, and there was a wall in front of you. We were in an alley. It was awful. I didn't yeah. like so, it. So basically it's two buildings. The seating, so you know that used to be a coffee shop. Great. In the 90s I remember going there when it was a coffee shop. And they've converted it to a pizza place. And I think what happened was the majority of the inside of the building is now where they the have the pizza ovens and everything like that, right? So it took up a lot of space. So they had to find a way to kind of create more seating space for the restaurant. So there's only a couple of tables inside actually, like three or four, right? I think right. something like that. Um, and then, so what they did was they converted the alley that's between the two buildings into their main seating area. So it's open, um, it's heated, but it's open, and it has a glass canopy over what is basically a walkway. Um, so I don't think they had any choice but to have everyone facing in one direction. <laughs> but yes, it's very minimalist, and it's very modern, and it's very, um, it's like a bowling alley. It was, it was like sitting in a bowling alley. Yeah. But there was, it, it, at least there was something up onto the wall that we could look at. You know, sure. Something. Yeah, I can. All right, so let's talk, let's talk food. So we started out with the meatballs, which I thought were pretty good. Yeah, they we were got, good. We got the meatballs because we were gonna order pizzas with no protein on it, essentially. So we wanted to get some protein. Yeah. Um, Oh, it was pretty good. Um, and then we got a Caesar salad. Caesar with salad. Real, it was a real Caesar, which is good. Not everyone has real Caesar. Um, and then we got two pizzas. Uh, the first pizza we got was the margarita. Which I liked. I thought the flavor was the better one of all the others that we've tried. And that shocks me. Because you usually don't like margarita because it's plain. Because it's plain, but this had flavor to it. Just like the meatballs. You know, the meat, the, the pasta sauce was just, or the, the, the sauce, the tomato sauce was just tomato. I love tomato sauce, I love it. But you know, sometimes you wanna put a little kick into it, like maybe some flakes of, you know, some chili flakes or something else, just to give it a little bit of, of a pop. So it was kind of bland, and usually the margaritas are the same way, but this one did have some flavor, so I enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it was very, it was very good. And then we got the cacio pepe. Uh, there's a long list of pizzas that they make um, that are kind of the house specialties, I guess, but the reason why I chose the cacio pepe is because I love the pasta dish, cacio pepe, and I was kind of interested in is anything like the pasta dish. And it actually tasted like it really did taste like cacio pepe. Really? Yeah. I've never had it before. Yeah. It's, but it was good. Like we had we had some friends in town, one of them Italian, and they made cacio pepe for us. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, and she's she's from Italy. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it was good. It was very oh my much. God, it made it so was, much it sense was, now. It was just like cacio pepe. <laughs> anyway, and it had that like it had like that. It was. I think it was. Parmesan cream on the top. So it was also a textural thing. It was like right. you had like the regular cheese on the top of the pizza. It was a white pizza. Um, but then it had this kind of, I think it was cream of Parmesan is what it was on the top. And so 
texturally it was it was really interesting. Yeah. No, okay. So now I'm remembering. I, I really I really enjoyed all the cheese on it, but there was something on that pizza. On every all of it. I think it's the lot. I think that just killed I think me. I mean, it was. So we 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 eat healthy. We don't eat a lot of gluten. We don't eat a lot of cheese. We don't eat a lot of that stuff. So these are are our cheat meals essentially, right? So. You know, when you eat this kind of stuff, when you don't normally eat it, it's not part of your regular diet. It's probably not good for you. Yeah, well, it wasn't good for me that night because no. it, it was it was the worst I've ever felt. That's... It was bad. And the gas? We'll leave out the details. <laughs> God, it's bad. So, all in all, I would rate it a thumbs up. I thought it was very good. Um, I would I would go back if we were in West Hollywood and we wanted a pizza. I, I would go back there. Okay, I'd be a little cautious on that because of the way it made me feel. My stomach was just so heavy. Yeah, but how did the pizza itself taste? Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It was, it tasted fine. The cheese was great. I really liked it when I was eating it. Digesting it was another story. I mean, if I could give it a sideways thumbs, I would. I can't. But I'm certainly not going to give it a thumbs down, so I'll go ahead and give it a thumbs well, up for flavor. I mean, it's not pizza place's fault that you have a digestion problem. I mean, it became everybody's problem when I started to have it. Well, <laughs> yes, especially me. <laughs> um, so, you know, Chris O'Donnell owns the place. Really? Yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or at least he's one of the owners. Uh, um, Sure. And the original restaurant, I believe, is in Brentwood. So they have a couple of locations. One in Brentwood. I think they have one in the Valley on Ventura Boulevard. And then this is their new West Hollywood location. Great. So they have several locations. Next week episode <laughs> is going to be Olio in Grand Central Market in downtown Los Angeles. Yeah. We'll see how that one goes. It'll go good. <laughs>